So why don't we go to Flowerful? Where would you like to go, dude? Seeing as where it all began sounds like it's plot relevant. Oh yeah, we can also go to Celestial Hell. Or Martial Training. No, we don't want to do phantom copies. Wait, a mysterious netherworld that floats in the frontier has strange properties. Well, let's start with the Flowerful one and see how that goes. Looks like it's combat based. What level is everybody? Comparatively easy. Who's the boss? Mundo, mysterious demon. Well, let's figure it out. Okay. No, we don't want to summon uh, Grand Slam Man for this. That'd be silly. Rising Domination. Ooh, these guys are tough. Comparatively. All right. Then again, my characters are kind of yeah. underleveled for a lot of these things, which kind of sucks. Too far off center. Okay, why don't we attack with the fail knot, which actually does a fair amount of damage. Okay, Usalia. Let's keep training. Oh, crap. You know what? No, we can do it later. It's dumb, but this will be fine. Okay. Rita. I'll just keep training her regularly. Uh, let's see. Christo Red... <sighs> Red Magnus. I don't think Red Magnus can do anything. Yep, nope, he can't. Alright. Then I'll have to be it for the time being. Okay. Only 8,000 damage. Oh, okay. I was wondering about that one. Okay. Well... You know what? Let's just send her forward. Unfortunately, uh, Kilia knocked around the other one. Okay, so this might take a little bit of time, but I think we'll be fine. My characters have a lot of, a lot more stats, they just don't do enough damage yet. Uh, they're doing magic changes. I'll show you the danger of the sea! Okay, how's the, how's the damage? Not so bad. Let's... Terra heal Kilia. Yeah, gotta remember to throw, uh, Majorita onto the skill squad. For, uh, for next episode or whatever. Just because. Let's move. I'm just going to keep using Great B Squad. It's not the most powerful skill in the game, but definitely definitely is a good, nice, nice little combo die. move. Okay. Let's see. Red Magnus. Oh, this is actually... Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah! Super! Even bigger. All right, super damage lord. That'll kill him. Yeah. He's not quite as powerful as some of the other characters, but he's still got his own benefits. Uh, let's aim for him. Okay. Oh, I just realized. I might no, no. I've definitely got Skilly XP set so he can be gained. I do have a hundred in the CP shop that I should probably be using for something. Yep. Okay, she is actually using her skills. Good. I was worried about that one for a second. Let's just do Macrocosm. Rising Domination is nice, but it knocks enemies around occasionally, which is kind of annoying. Okay, yeah, we can definitely we can definitely beat this stage, no problem. I should probably experiment with uh, magic changing some more. I'm just lazy. Okay, Red Magnus. Oh, this is perfect positioning for you. Ba bam! You know what? Let's get past this. We've seen it like a bazillion times at this point. Uh, let's see. Probably get another good time. Ooh, Overload. Apparently, I can actually change the colors for her transform state, which would be kind of fun at some point. Okay, uh, we could do Berserk Stream. Let's not, though. I'm mainly, I've mainly brought her out so we can train her skills. And I'd be dumb to just keep using a skill that I use all the time. Shotgun craft, there we go. Oops, I don't even know who I was aiming at there. This'll be okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I really need to work on improving Majorita some more. Un unfortunately, every time you unlock a new character, they they really don't end up on par with all of your other characters in levels, stats, reincarnation, or skills. Mostly skills. So, despite the fact that Majorita starts at 500, she's just awful. It's, it's a shame. I'm not even sure if I'm going to use her too much. Technique, ultimate skill, 
But I get the feeling there's some... There's still a fair amount more story progression along the way. Uh, over the course of this game. So, my bet is, having her be, like, mildly relevant makes kind of sense. I'll probably do it with... Uh, before we do the, uh, the mission involving... Let's see, can I do... That will kill Kilia. Hmm. Okay. Uh, before we do the Celestia mission, I'm absolutely going to, uh... I'm absolutely going to make sure Christo is a viable combat character again. Or at least healer. Ooh. Oh, right, he's confused. That's why his stats are garbage. Well, we can do a squad attack first. Oh, right. He sent a squad by himself? I don't remember that. I'll have to, I'll have to look into that one. Anyway, eh, he's a little injured. Can I can I do macrocosm? Yeah, I can. Not enough to kill him, but eh, whatever. Who cares? Okay. This game takes a long time to get anywhere. In the post game, because everything scales up really intensely. It's actually kind of impressive. Like the first. Ultimate demon technique. Ultimate skill. Macrocosm. The maximum level in this game is 9,999. And the entire game can be completed between the level... between levels 1 and 200. Which is kind of hilarious. <laughs> I like how he fires him into the sun. You see him disintegrate. Still misses. Ooh! Ow! That hurt. Uh, it's probably a combination of that and poison. Alright. Not a big deal. We got a bunch of other... Things we can do here. Yay, Margarita can actually get a kill. Beautiful. Let's see. Try burst and... Is it? Oh, really? He can just use Super Damage Lord. Outside of, uh, Super State. Good to know. Well, let's heal. Let's kill. And that kind of invalidates Red Magnus. Whatever. Not the end of the world. We still got Tuffy over on the left there. He might be a bit of a problem. We'll figure it out. Uh, oh, right. There's give me back my overload. I gotta figure out how to do that one. It's probably a quest. Considering. Uh, let's see. Guess I didn't need to do that, but you do get more skill experience the more enemies you hit. Ow. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Holy shit, ow. Alright, I don't think this will work. True. Yeah, he's not. Okay. That's a shame. Try burst. Okay, at least we can do some damage with this. Probably should have done curry, but whatever. Macrocosm. I'm just gonna focus on wailing on him. We'll probably lose a character or two in this, but it's better than the alternative. Uh, let's see. Could do Great, Be Great Beast War, but that wouldn't wouldn't be worthwhile. Okay, yeah. this should do enough damage. Between all of them, and if it doesn't, yeah, there we go. Okay. Wow, they got a lot of levels from that one. I guess he was one th level one thousand five hundred. So what does that get me? Quest Harbinger has been completed. Oh, maybe we'll get a follow-up quest next. Sure, dude. Oh, god damn it! I'm talking to the pretty in front of him. As I thought. Okay, review quests, Harbinger. Get four million hell. That's fair. All right, so this is gonna get expensive. I'm gonna try and spend less than ten thousand per. Looks like Terra Heal doesn't get too expensive. Ranking it up, good. Okay. Uh, so I've taught all of the uh, all of our basic. Uh, Terra spells to every single caster available. This might get a little bit too expensive. We'll see. What's the max we can get it up to? Plus. Okay. So I want to increase the size on all of these spells if I can. There we go. Because, yeah. Uh, should be good there. Okay, so that's Usalia. I haven't taught it to uh, Majoriti yet, but I'm not even sure if I'm going to be using her too much. Christo has zero. <laughs> nah. 
Oh boy, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with him. Um, Zoroken, Vi, Death Santa. How much mana do you have? Not a whole lot. Let's just put it all into Terra Heal. You're a healer anyway. Ah, uh, interesting. Terra Heal is a C rank spell. I didn't think of it. I didn't expect that. Weird. Alright, and Potato. Yeah, whatever. I'll just power level them later. They're not even. They don't even have the stats for this. Usali is the one that matters. So, uh, let's see. I guess what we might as well do right now is we have we have a bunch of objectives that are kind of open-ended and none of them seem very story-based. Uh, however, if we want to continue with the story, we actually have to do these quests. So if you notice, Kara World Victory, uh, Overlord. Uh, this one gives, you know, 2,500,000 2, hell. Uh, this one gives 4 million. I believe these are the ones that you have to do to continue with the uh, story quest. Which, I mean, is definitely something to go for. But I was thinking, why don't we actually get some things out of the way first? Uh, just for a little while. Um, seeing as we don't have any, like, major story stuff between... Well, you know, any major story events right now that we're in the middle of. I figured, let's get all the qu challenges done. Let's start doing the DLC. I'm gonna grab as many of these challenges as possible, and then we're gonna try and just romp through them. Where would you like to uh, go, dude? Let's see. So why don't why don't I don't I don't even know. I'm just gonna start going through them. So blood parch. Uh, let's see. We've got challenge stage. So I, don't, I don't know how this is gonna go. Okay. So what's this? Disperse damage. Absolute area. Oh, we've got a ton of lucky boards and disperse damage. Okay, so if this is absolute oh, there it is. I'm going for it. Hmm. So the problem with the absolute area is unless you're really, really good at this, I think what we need to do is wait. I'm going for it. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So we're gonna... Hmm. Let's go! Can I not lift it? Let's go! Okay, let's try Hurricane Blow. Well, it shall kill it. So we need... Sorokin here. Never run away anymore! Because you should be able to hurricane blow this thing without. Yeah. Fuck. How about it? Hmm. I can't increase the level here. Okay, more enemies have come out of the base panel. So they're not liftable. We need somebody weak. Where is he? We need... He's down here somewhere. Where the hell's Logan? Oh yeah, we got Void Dark. I kind of forgot about him. Come on. We totally have... There he is, Logan. He's level 70. He shouldn't be able to grab these things. Heroic Backbreaker. Yeah! Okay, so he missed completely, but that's all we need. Oh, what? That one actually moved. To the right location. Oh, jeez. Their level's gone up substantially. Okay, so this might be a problem? I don't know. Anyway, let's, uh, let's bring... Wait, let's bring let's Killia go. out. We need to kill these guys. I don't know why they wouldn't weren't moving, but... Okay, so let's just, let's just try beating the tar out of this thing. Because it'll disperse the damage between all units on that pile. Yeah! Okay, so we are doing the challenge correctly. It's just a matter of getting them in, in position. That's a bit of a problem. Luckily, we can... We've repositioned that one. Sure, at the cost of Logan, but whatever. We can bemoan his fate later. Let's just do Terrifier. If I could do, like, a million damage, of course the boss will stand no chance here. This is what... I think, I, I think I've got the level cranked down as, as low as it can go. I should double check that. But, uh, how much HP does he have left? Almost none. Good. We, I mean, we might almost be able to bring Potato out. Ah, shoot. Yeah, I thought so. Alright, now, here's the problem. Potato doesn't have as good of stats as anybody else. 
Well, we'll try it anyway. Land decimator. All right, let's go. Did it get him? I have no idea if it got him or not. Well, she's got a ton of AP. So why don't we move a little bit closer? Maybe we can see if land decimator actually hits. Wait, we can see the uh, accuracy? No, I don't know. Yeah, we messed this one up, I think. Oh, he moved. He's invincible now. Um. Hmm. Okay, I think we I think we failed this one. Uh, so what I think I'm gonna have to do is just bring out a character, like Kilia, and just toss him over here. There we go. I don't know why this didn't work the first time, but whatever. Yeah, this is this is much easier. He, they just didn't move for whatever reason. There, yeah, this is this is stupid easy now. We just gotta be able to do enough damage to him, and I mean, he's almost dead. So as long as we get to this point, all right. I was worried about that one, but challenger map over. Yay! <laughs> well, that was easy. It just didn't function the first time around. All right, so let's leave Violent Challenger alone for a second. Let's do let's do all the challenge stages. Might as well get all the good equipment uh, we can. So what's this one? Snow is effective, so no lifting, ally lonely, invincible, no entry. And we've got Gabe, a prinny. So I guess we just have to climb the Tower of Prindom. I'd send in uh, Grand Slam Man just for poetic justice or something, but that's dumb. Let's, Let's just send in Kilia. <laughs> Don't run away from me. Oh, no. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, this is a puzzle. Wait. Is this still yeah, it's still in the zone. I got it. Let's go. I think. Target height problem. Okay. So we just start. Oh, they're invincible. How the devil are you supposed to do this one? We've obviously got these over here. Invincible, game over. Yeah, so if the, that pretty makes it there. So I guess, you know what? I'm going to test something. Ah, uh, let's see. Where is it? Send in underwear monster. So here's the thing. I don't know if this works or not. I don't, I don't know if quote-unquote flying units count in this situation. No, they don't. Okay, so we're going to give up. I can't do that one yet. Uh, we might as well we might as well complete these two quests. So what I need to do to be able to complete that one is actually use Zoroken, and he is not powerful enough for it yet. Uh, the reason why is Zoroken starts with a really oh hey no board, we finally got that quest. Uh, complete. I've been holding on to that one for ages. Oh right, because the, the little dudes had uh, no board, or had no board, so they were considered no board. Nice. Okay, murder trick. The murder weapon was a voodoo doll with instantaneous results. The police investigation was bullcrap. I tried to reenact it, but I need a strong partner. Dark Detective Barr. Oh, that's how the voodoo trick... <laughs> that's clever. Okay. Well, uh, we got those two down. We might as well... Wait, Convert Force. That's an interesting one. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to pick it up. Might take a while to finish that one. Glacier Fragment. Gun. Some of these quests give, like, weird evil tees that I've never seen before. Some of them are pretty good, so why don't we go with this one? <laughs> Kill Kilia, 
you get the Seal of Betrayal, which gives you Death Blow on all allies. I don't entirely know why, but... Eh. Okay. Kill a level fish. Secret scroll, fish's feelings. Should do that one at some point. But... Oh, can't accept any more quests. You know what? What quest do I have? Ice Kel, Demon Fang. Surprised I haven't done uh, more than a million damage yet. Folding Fan. Holy Water. Really, I don't have that one. Well, I'm just going to abandon it for the time being. Same thing with this one. Extreme Smart Guy is pretty good, but it's not that necessary. Uh, let's just keep picking up... Uh, let's just keep picking up... These? No, we don't we don't want the coaches. What's this one? That's useless. There we go. Sand Kano challenge stage. And Dark Testament challenge stage. Okay, let's try and let's try and do more of these. Yeah, so the other one we need some character with really high jumping. And unfortunately, I don't think I have any boots good enough for that. Um, but what I'm gonna do is just do some like really nonsensical stuff with Zerokin. Cause what's what are most of my characters' jump ratings? 20. Because I wanna say Zerokin's is 30. Yeah. Wait. I see some people 35. Okay, so flying units do have a higher and bonus. I guess the bunny also does. And Void Dark does. Interesting. Yeah, so if I really wanted to, I'd power level Headler. Uh, but that seems like a giant waste of time just to get one challenge map done. I think it'd be easier if I just had boots. So we've already done that one challenge stage. Okay, Demon Fang challenge shit stage. Alright, so what's this one? No entry, absolute area, defense, and lonely. Okay, let's see. Boss. Okay, so what is... Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, that's just green. Okay, what does lonely do? Where the... Here they are. Defen defense increases... Well, one unit from each faction can enter. Okay. Let's take a look around for a second. Not too much in here, honestly. Okay, so really what we have to do is beat her solo, Carnage Princess. Okay. Um, Let's well, send Kilia. He does a lot of damage. He should be more than, more than fine for this situation. And if not, we can... Always, oh, if we needed reinforcements, we could always sit him on the green. That'd be a problem. I don't think we want to do that, so let's just try and hit it with the macrocosm. Yeah, that's good enough. Alright. Macrocosm, definitely a strong move. Satisfying so, satisfyingly so. Ultimate skill, macrocosm! That did more than the uh, prescribed amount. Let's see if we kill her in a counter back and forth. Not quite, but very close. Go, go, kill ya. Yeah, so if you needed extra allies, you could stick them all on the green spaces. Uh, but they take damage every round, which would kind of super suck. Uh, you might be able to heal through it, but... I don't know. Maybe you could have had a backup as well. I should have checked that one. But we got the challenge stage down anyway, so who cares? Okay, next one. I like these challenge stages. They're, they're clever. Whoa. Sandstorm is active, so absolute area... Ah, <laughs> wow. Okay. So, I think this is actually, you know what? Let's do this. Specials. Let's move all of her Terras to the top. Because I hate sorting through all of them. There we go. Oh, wait, no, I just turned off Terrifier. Why would I do that? Okay. So let's start just slowly rolling through people. Yeah, we still don't have Terra Star yet. I'll work on that one later. So let's start. Let's start by working on Terra Ice. It's too late to regret it, so but... trick is, I can technically maybe break that one. <gasps> um, I might be able to break this so I can leave because currently I can't move anywhere. I have to check that, but. If I'm lucky, they're, they're all just going to keep moving forward, and I can just keep nuking them forever. And this will be a great, great way. 
I'm just gonna skip past all of these battle animations. This will be a great way to train her, uh... Terra Ice skill. Hmm. I guess the alternative would be bringing out, like, uh, not Madrita, but bringing out, um... Uh, Ser Serafina, and using her, like, her long-range line shot. That might not be a bad deal, but we really need the skill training, because currently she's in the skill squad, so this is this is going to passively train everybody else's skills, too. Um, and that's kind of necessary. I don't know, I guess it's not it's not overwhelmingly necessary, just because... Oh, but I think Majorita is not in the skill squad. Did I not put her in there? I don't know, I'd have to check. Well, it's a little bit late. That said, if I can come back and do this mission again, this isn't a terrible place to train your skills. I mean, it's effectively just a, a shooting gallery that just is constantly refreshed. And yeah, they're slowly... They're slowly going down, but still. They might also go like heavily into revenge mode, which is kind of nice. You know what? Let's hold right trigger and circle. So here's a question. What level are they? Oh, wow, they only have one HP. Well, their stats aren't car are kind of garbage. Alright, let's try this. Potato. Looks like I have Actually, to you know what? Somebody has a thing. Uh, Majorita? Do you have the do you have the thing? Nope. Uh Madrasalia. Maybe maybe nobody's wearing it. Let's check. No, somebody has it on. There's a uh, there's a particularly powerful demon ring that I've been passing between characters, and I don't know who's currently wearing it. Oh, it's a royal ring, not a devil ring. My bad. There it is. All right, uh, let's remove that. Let's grab potato. Equip. This should work actually quite well, yeah, because this booster stats pretty heavily, and she should be able to do land decimator. All right, let's go. I don't know how much damage this is going to do. Yes. But, I mean, I won't it did zero damage. Well, alright, that failed. Uh, I'll have to look into Land Decimator and figuring out, figure out why it's so garbage. Oh, either way, let's kill them all. <laughs> oh man, Usali is ready and raring for this. The game actually lagged there. Oh boy, look at all those shards we got. Oh, man. Wow. So this guy is still alive somehow. I don't know how he managed it, but he did. <laughs> I know I could have used that to train all of my skills, but I'll do that later off camera. So, you know, we can get through as many challenges as possible today. But, uh, oh boy, Murmur of Rage is amazing at this sort of thing. I did not expect that to happen. That was brilliant. Rendered. Okay, well, that was easy enough. Oh, decreased accuracy by 20%. That's why there was a mischance. That's why we that one guy probably survived. Okay, well, next challenge stage. So what's this one? Um, None. We've got a no board, a bunch of just dudes. There's no special effects on any of these. And then we've got a boss. There's a fair amount of HP. LFU heart. Pardon? You know what? I don't know. Me too. I don't know. I don't I don't really care to know. Critical meteor. Let's see, Seraphina. Let's see. Red Magnus. Actually, you know what? If we're bringing Red Magnus out, let's move Zoroka. I will never run away anymore. Red Magnus. Never let anyone feel pain. Lift. Throw. Yeah. Red Magnus can do some pretty hefty nonsense here. Let's see, so I could do that, or I could stick him like right here. Yeah, that'll be effective. Uh, let's see, Majorita would actually be quite good. So why don't we stop with that for a second. Let's bring out Vi. She might have enough defense. Bring Majorita. Lift Majorita. Throw her over here. And she can do... Oh, she's in the skill training squad. Good. 
Okay. I was worried about that. Okay, she can do that. Uh, let's see. So we still have Kilia left. As far as the major heavy hitters, and then everybody else is kind of meaningless. We'll hit the boss, I guess. Looks like I have to go. Potato. Yeah. Potato can hit the boss. I don't actually know if it's going to do much damage, but... Eh, whatever. I'm not going to lose. We'll figure it out. I mean, worst comes to worst, these characters die. Whatever. <laughs> not a big deal. Oh, right. I've slowly been buffing Christo, too. I've been lazy about it just because I don't like Christo as a character that much. I don't know. He never really made a whole lot of sense to me. But I think this will be okay. All right. So let's just start nuking people. We're getting a... Oh, this is a great place for revenge shard. Or, not revenge shard. Well, yeah, I guess. Uh, Ultimate demon shard farming, Ultimate effectively, skill. for stats. That said, uh, magical extracts are the way to go as far as getting stats go. They're, every time they cast Terra Ice, they all skill up. That's the uh, that's the beauty of the skill training squad. Oh boy. Okay, let's see what happens. Sorry. Dazzling stage. Uh, they might all get charmed for this. Nope, that's a damaged one. Might have actually killed some, some of the weaker ones. But whatever. I don't care that much. Simmer here. Once again, Planet Earth gets uh, nuked. Okay, so everybody's revenging. Uh, you're the... You're the squad leader, right? Yes. So that one hit at everybody that way. But what if we move over here and hit him? There we go. Alright. Might as well do this quick. Get a bunch of shards and free everybody up. Uh, let's see. Can you move far enough? Fast enough? No. We can overload. Super universe. And... Totally kill Kilia. Let's not do that. Let's overload him as well. And let's do a dual macrocosm. Okay, so we have to watch out for this square. So as long as nobody sits there, we should be okay. Triburst. Um, hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think I've equipped... Ah, I haven't given her the evil tea for moving faster. You know what? We'll do it afterwards. Uh, let's see. Let's move you over here. Let's do... Oh. Murmur of Rage. Let's do... More Terra Ice. Because I might as well train everybody up slowly in multiple things. Um... You can't do much. Guess you can do it there. Okay. So let's just... Let's just wail on her as much as possible. Oh, well, she just dies. Okay, well, that works. Okay, so, Letter of Challenge. I wish to fight you, one-on-one. -on -one. I'll be waiting at Dragonfang at 4949 Netherworld Standard Time. P.S. Activated a barrier, so we won't be disturbed. Be there. Anonymous. Okay, so we get Ethereon. A bow. Cool. I'll probably give that one to Seraphina, just because I like guns, but I'm actually finding bows to be pretty damn good. They've got better AoEs, and uh, they're, they're great for counterattacks. Some prinnies have been using the Dimension Gate when Seraphina... Wasn't looking, dude. They're all fired up, saying, We need to go help her, dude. What's going on? Dimension Pretty. Priver. So that was Dark Testament. That was probably the last one we did. So the LFU Heart. I'm trying to figure that one out exactly, but still. Okay. Our new idol group, which promises to assassinate anyone you desire, is looking for a final member. To join, you have to defeat all of us. Will you come out for an audition? Cool Hitman 77. <laughs> Funny. All right. Ah, uh, so we've got a bunch of really good, really good weapons that I'm probably going to level up. Though, I think there are, like, legendary weapons even beyond what we have just gotten, but whatever. Okay, Scorching Fl Flame gets us the three-year killer. Uh, let's see. Mushroom Ghost gets us a sword. Fenris Fang, Grim Reaper. Okay. And this one's just gorgeous. Oh! Netherworld Wrestling Entertainment is coming to gorgeous. Ah, but I don't have enough space in my quest lock. Well, whatever. I don't mind. Don't like How long is this episode? It? Not long at all, so we're actually making pretty good progress on this. I am freezing. For whatever reason. Okay, Scorching Flame. Challenge stage. Yeah, I'll have to figure out how to do that that one, but for let's now, go. let's let's take a look at what we got. No ranged. Ally damage super... Oh... Wait... Could be worse. Absolute area. 
So that's super encroached, so we need to do something fast. Leave it to me, Blitz. Yeah. Fusalia, please tell me you have enough range for this. Terra Ice. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's too tall. Okay, Kilia. Let's go. Huh. Usalia. Me too. Blitz. Great. There we go. Uh. Please tell me this worked. Hate for her to just immediately get nuked for no good reason. Okay, there we go. So that'll fix the entirety of the red zone. Everything... Oh, God. Oh, you sons of bitches. I don't have a choice here. Alright. Well... Go. This is different. It's my turn. No, oh, it's no range, so I can't bring them. Yes. I'll get super reckless. Uh, let's see. Return to darkness. Actually, gonna Come bring on. Grand Slam Man out on this one. I know he's still not uh, necessarily. Actually, you know what? Grand Slam Man can just solve everything himself. Let's not do that. That's boring. All right. Uh, let's see. So if you do that, it's only going to hit him. Damn. This is going to suck a bit. Oh, damn. These guys have a lot of hit points, too. We might actually need Grand Slam Man for this. Let's check. Yeah. Oh. Wait. Pardon? Uh, mm. No. No, you know what? Let's cheat. Let's cheat as hard as we can. Alright, so... Not Grand Slam, man. Who is the longest throw distance in the entire group? It's the hand, isn't it? He has a pretty long one. Logan. This might take some doing and maybe a restart or two, but we'll figure it out. Okay. You know, which one of these is bad? Alley damage? Oh, these are both alley damage, but not super encroach. Okay. So what we need to do... Oh, this is actually really easy. Isn't it? I think it is. Okay, so let's just start loading this up. So we need Crazy Man Tower. Otherwise, we're going to run into some serious problems. I think this will be okay, though. I'll get super reckless. All men are my servants. Let's end this quick. Yeah. Now, Let's just hope go. this works. Let's go, go, go. Three more people. I think Majorita counts as a human. Yeah, she's using a staff, so she has to be. I'm not going to lose. Leave it to me, Flint. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, special tower release. Okay, lift, symbol, throw. Did I do it? Throw. Fly away. Okay, next up, Kilia. Geo symbol. Throw. There. Okay. So ally damage 100%. No ranged. Super encroach. Okay. So we've bought ourselves all of one turn. But that's okay. That's all we needed. Because here's what we we do next. We just go bust them up. Problem solved. Alright. Uh, Lightning sword? Hit both? Uh, not for enough damage. Alright, let's just have Red Magnus handle the problem. Uh, can you even make it back? Nope. Oh, Red Magnus. Squash him. Squash him flat. Okay, so that's taken out the uh, no range. Now we just, we've just we just got Super Encroach. I know it's a little bit cheaty what I've done, but you know what? As long as I'm in the red zone, ooh, ooh, we are going to win. Ah, uh, because yeah, this this solves the uh, this solves the issue of the ally damage 100% encroaching on what we are. Uh, technically, there are two ways to do this. One would have been if I had... Um, 
just used... Uh, if I had just used uh, Grand Slam Man or power leveled a bunch, I could totally have just like overpowered all these guys. But they're level 640. They're not. They're not easy customers. Um, so I would have been able to just like nuke them all progressively. But where's the fun in that? Um, and just like flop through. Instead, we've cheated, and we have cheated beautifully. Okay, special Terra Ice. I'll take one of them out. There we go. And Majorita. Let's go. Who needs to train her skills anyway? We pretty much have to take our time, unfortunately, here, but that's not the end of the world. I have to work for it. Because unfortunately there's that green zone there. That we have to reach. Actually, why why did we do that? We're just gonna have whoops. We're just gonna have uh her train Terra heal. You know what? Actually, status. Specials. No, that's Killer Spin. Let's actually take off like half of these Geo Change bonus change. Kind of useless. Uh, but this way, she'll just uh, she'll just heal Zoroken. Oops. There we go. Okay. Not like anybody else is particularly injured. I guess what I could have done was um kept on one of the ally damages and used it as a healing training thing. But that's dumb and also boring. So let's let's not do that. Okay, so we have several things that we can do here. Wait, no, this is an absolute area. Ugh. God, this must have been a really shitty level. Except for maybe maybe if you'd had the um had your enemies chuck you. Because they did have Rising Domination, which is a knockback move. They might have been able to actually hit you across. But that would have been really rough to deal with. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to end turn a bunch here. How about it? If you leave it to me, we'll definitely win. How about it? Because if you notice... Come on. How about it? This area is almost completely clear already. Yes! World's my oyster. Yeah. It's cheating, but you know what? It's smart huh. cheating. It's not cheating yeah. by, like, you know, pulling up a game yeah. shark, making yourself invulnerable, and then running around for a while being like, yuck, yuck, yuck. It's, uh, you know, it's it's classy cheating. The kind of cheating that gets you ahead in life, I, I guess. I don't know. Let's just Terra Heal a bunch. Consi all things considered, all of these... Nope, not Terra Ice. Terra Heal. Um, even if you don't heal any hit points, you still get some skill training here. So it's probably a good idea for me to just do this. There we go. Yep. See, skill up. Let's just keep doing. Let's just keep doing Terra Heal. Uh, at the very least, we'll teach uh, Majorita how to use Terra Heal. Okay. Yeah, these a lot of these guys have like Vigor Death Strike and stuff. So. Uh, let's see, Terra Ice. That that's not a target. Oh, I'm in I'm in a no range zone. Well, fine. Just Terra heal yourself. Christo. I mean, at this point, I don't even need to send most people. I don't even need to wait with most people. I'm just going to send Usalia forward. She'll probably solve the problem on her own. It's not like there are too many enemies left, and these guys aren't wrestlers, so they don't have like heroic backbreak or anything like that. So, I think we'll be good. Okay. I don't even need these characters. Okay. We're close we're close to being done. I have to work Oh, she shot him back. That's what happened. I was like, how'd that guy die? I didn't attack him. That's because. Okay. Your death strike. Yeah, so a lot of these guys have uh have moves that trade positions between you and them. Okay, where? Oh, dang it, they moved. Well, that's dumb. Then again, they're dumb. Sure, that didn't necessarily kill them. Oh, but it got close. Okay. Yeah, this will be this will be over in a jiffy, which is nice. Not like I'm really in a in a hurry here, but you know what? I don't want to spend forever doing a challenge map 
uh, to cheat my way through. But I'm very glad that this strategy actually worked. I can't believe it worked, honestly. It's, it's kind of kind of a bizarre trick. I, I don't know if they designed it with that in mind, because like normally what you're supposed to do is rely on both chucking your own units uh, past the absolute area and getting hucked around by those enemies. But in this case, well, we didn't have that happen. Okay, so we've got a couple challenges left, and we've also got uh, some story-related things. But I think this is a great place to end the episode. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of Disgaea 5, Alliance of Vengeance, and as always, thanks for watching.